Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. Today is the day that many of you have probably been waiting for for a while. Um, we are going to be doing what's currently inked and we are going to be looking at this um, honeycomb of ink pens right here and swatching them out. Some of them you've seen, I'll try to put it on on the screen somewhat. Um, so I'm excited to go through these. I know some of you have asked questions. I've actually had some of these in one of my pen cases. These off to the right are those that I've actually finished, oh, including this one, that I've finished inking except for these two here and I need to clean these three out which is a good thing. So I have my glove with me, I have my insert with me, and I realized that I need to be a little bit better organized because my some of my inkings are getting lost and it's taken me a, some time to prepare for this video as I'm not being very well organized. So I have my Sashi Hata stamp and I have the date ready with my date stamp. And this stamp is old. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And it comes with some words as well. So you could change the words and then the date. So let's see, let's do this correctly. It is the 13th. and let's get started. I'm not gonna do this in any special order. I've been trying to use my pens, but I've been in a funk for the past couple weeks and I have hardly written much at all. I'm only just now kind of catching up in my Hobonichi on the days that I lost, but I already have days that I really don't know what happened. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. First pen up is this one. This is the Pilot Custom 823. And I actually don't write with this one very often. And I think it's just because of the the medium nib. It's like too thick for me when I want to use it. Let's zoom in just a little. You may see the lighting change a little bit because it's a little cloudy. Um, this is in the black body, but this is such a smooth writer. I have a medium nib on here. So the ink I'm using is actually Sailor. Yamogi. And it's this pretty turquoisey color with some deep um, shading to it. I think we've talked about this one, this color before. Okay, so next up is this guy. And this is my Mr. Cypress pen, my first and only rotten fountain pen at the moment. And to be honest, I haven't quite used up 
the ink or change the ink out from when I first got this pen. That could be a good thing or a bad thing, but it's writing really well. There's been probably three or four weeks, maybe, maybe four weeks that has gone by without me using it and I pick it up and it writes, which is saying a lot for a, um, a fountain pen that's like a cap and doesn't have any much of an insert on the inside. So this one is called Spring Bee. And it is rotten. And my nib size is a fine. This nib is a Bach nib and it wrote perfectly out of the box. And my ink is Sailor. Monyo, Kiki, and the I don't know. Sometimes everything lines up on the first turn when I cap it back, and sometimes it doesn't. But it's still a really beautiful pen. Definitely recommend looking at the website and all the pretty pens that he or they make. I think it's one person. Well, no, it's not one person. It's multiple people that um, put Ron and decor on the pens. Okay, so next up is this one, which is the pelican and it's actually my pelican m800 i think the ink is almost done in this pen which is why I'm getting some skipping. It's hard to tell. Um, you can't really see through the body of this pen very well. Fun fact, when I first got this pen, I felt like it was super heavy because at the time I had very, um, I didn't have as many pens that had so much heft. So this is their regular line of colors that have the different stripes. So you would, this isn't like a limited edition or anything. And I have a, yeah, it's a fine nib. So the ink is Tossy Seasons. Morning Frost. And it's kind of a surprising name for this color. When I think of Morning Frost, I think of like gray or blue but green, I guess, I don't know. I guess, I don't know, it's like the last thing, last color I think of. Um, okay, so let's move on to this one, this beautiful one. And this one is just right so nice. Doesn't hard start. Never have issues with it starting up after not riding with it for a while. So this is the Kilk uh, Noon. It's 
celestial. And mine is in the fine. And I have diamine. Ancient. Copper. Kind of a surprising color for me because you know I love my cool colors. But I wanted something different and because this is a fine nib, it comes out more like a deeper red and not like super bright, which I think fits. And it's acceptable for me at this moment. Okay, so next one is my Sailor. I'm not doing anything as intricate just because I don't want my video to be overly long with me drawing. Um, and plus I have a lot of pens inked up right now. So Sailor Pro Gear. And this is the Pro Gear and not the Pro Gear Slim. This is the Cure Azure. And <clears throat> I have a hard medium fine. The ink, I was, I wasn't sure what ink I had in here, but when I um, unscrewed the barrel, you can see that the Sailor Japan ink cartridges are labeled. Um, and these are the ones that come in that three pack. So uh, problem solved. I didn't realize that when I put the cartridge in. So this is the Sailor Niyosumir. cartridge. You could see that with my finer nib pens, my hand gets a lot more shaky. My writing isn't as neat. Okay. <clears throat> I don't talk about this one very often because it's quite new to my collection and I haven't had much time writing with it. to give it a good, to have an overall good idea of how I feel. Um, first impressions, I was very unimpressed because nib was scratchy. Uh, I, I want to say what you would expect for what people would say about Kaweco and their quality. Um, but I was able to fix it. So this is the Kaweco original. And it's the 250, so it has the number six nib, which is a larger nib. I love the larger nibs because I don't have to cramp my fingers to write small um, and close to the paper. This is extra fine. It only comes in one color as of right now, which is the black, and it's like a brushed metal. I don't find that it picks up fingerprints, which is quite nice and less maintenance. Um, the ink I have is actually a Coveco black cartridge. I 
I do like the size. It's not too heavy, being that it's, I don't know if it's metal or aluminum, what kind of metal. Um, I'm sure you, I could just look it up, but I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but the size is really cute. If I were to compare it to a Sailor, it's roughly slightly shorter than the Sailor Pro Gear. Okay, so we're getting there. We have like this side done almost. Let's look at this Twisby. <clears throat> and actually, Twisby minis are one of the few pens lately that I've been needing to uh, cap or post. So you could tell these are both extra fine nibs, but the ink that comes out of this nib is juicier and it's no, I don't think it's the actual ink. I actually think it's the nib itself. So the Koweko is writing a little bit drier. My Twisby. I know I spelled that wrong. Ugh, I always do that. Twisby should not have two eyes. Diamond. Diamond Mini. And this is just the black. They have a clear. Um, and this is an extra fine. This is my like ride or die almost, I think. I've had this for quite a long time and I do use it I think just about every year, sometime throughout the year it's being used. So it's just an overall good pen and Twisby has great customer service. This is the one that had the broken uh, clip and finial section and so they replaced it as long as I paid for shipping. Um, and the ink is Faber Castell. Um, shorts. Black. Now I like this black because it's dark. Um, and the only thing that bugs me is the smell. There's a smell to this ink. And I, I, I'm just wondering, is the ink old? <laughs> I just bought it recently from a retail seller, um, but every time I open the lid or the cap and I bring this up to my nose, I can just smell it. I don't even have to bring it up to my nose. I just, it's, if it's closer to my face, I can smell it instantly. And then I'm like, oh yeah, this is Faber Castell. So let me know if you have the same experience. This one is Leonardo and it's also a black ink. Now you may be able to tell a bigger difference with this black ink. This body is the Fiore and the color is Aqua Petra. And I have Lamy Obsidian. And I love how deep and dark black this is. The only thing 
that I am not super excited about is the fact that it's shiny black and not matte. This is also a medium nib. Excuse my kid in the background, but you may be able to see the, sh the sheen or the shine. Um, and there's nothing with the other black colors. So I like how thick and dark I can get this in my medium, but the shine kind of throws me off sometimes. If I had to pick between the two, I'd prefer a matte black versus a shiny black. Okay, so this is my next pen. This is the Let's get in frame. I'm going to move my clip over. Okay. So this is my Platinum. I'm actually almost out of ink in this one. And I haven't used this one in probably a couple, one or two months. But Platinum has that seal that helps protect um, the nib from drying out. And I have the fine. Oh, this is in the Chanon So. Which is a white color of the barrel. And mine is in a fine. Um, this ink is quite dry. It's the the Atramentis Brown. So it is a permanent ink. And I guess it's, you know, a good overall ink. I think it looks really good with this white and gold uh, trim for this pen. Okay, we're almost to the end. Um, let's see, what's next? Let's do my other, my most recent, Leonardo. This is my chunky baby. And I did do um, a swatch of this yesterday in my last video. Well, let's do it again. This is the Memento body. And why am I catching a blink? Yes, this is the color blue green you read it's I need to look up what that is I still haven't done that and that's on me my homework I haven't done um, <clears throat> but this ink I know some of you have been asking about what is the ink color linen toolbar And it's atmospheric um, firmament. I got this from Yuseka. It's this really pretty green and it changes color. It has good shading, but even as you're writing, it starts off dark and then lightens up as it dries. 
Okay. We've all seen this one before. This is the one I got done recently. And it works great. Sorry, it's a little gloomy now. I guess clouds are covering the sun. Um, but this is my Santini. Italia and it's in the fine it's been modified I don't have many pens that have been modified so I'm going to say modified fine it was a medium and um, I think they call it like Tiffany blue Tiffany I could be wrong. Uh, the ink is Scribo. Verde. Mediterraneo. The line is super fine and it just takes a little bit more patience for me with this pen because it was a lot thicker um, when I first got it and now that it's fine I'm like oh I gotta you know be a little bit more patient um, okay a couple more we have uh, one of my more recent pens I shared with you in a video not too long ago and This one, this is pretty vibrant. Pilot. Custom. Heritage. Ninety-two, and I love the flat top. This one is in the clear body, clear or sometimes called demonstrator. And it's the fine, as you can tell with the sticker I have on here. So my ink is also Sailor, Monio, oh, Samir, so this pen is writing a little bit dry, drier than I was hoping, and I think this is the only ink that's been in it so far. I think it's just maybe this ink and pen combination is not the best for what I'm looking for. Okay, last but not least. Is my Visconti, which honestly I haven't used as much as I should be using considering <clears throat> the work I got done to it. It writes really well. Um, Visconti Homo Sapiens. Um, and this one is medium. And the ink I'm using is Diamine. Delamere. 
screen. That does not look like a G, but it is in this case. All right, and I can do a couple more. So these are the other two that don't fit, and the only ones that fit in my little honeycomb are these are 13. So I do have a couple more that are inked and they don't fit there. Um, this is the Pelican M120, a vintage pen, and it writes so well, incredibly well. And then this is my Caveco, uh, is it the student? But and it has the metal bot or the metal grip section with a very tiny, tiny, tiny nib. <laughs> and these two, honestly, I wasn't really prepared to share them, so I can't quite remember the ink. But I would say for this one, it was also a pain. The nib did not work very well, but I managed to fix it myself. This is an extra fine. And I have some type of blue ink in here. Is it the, oh, okay, it's one of the cartridges. I would say that these Caveco cartridges actually are pretty decent. They work really well. Okay, let's look at this Pelican real quick. Gosh, this one writes so well. I picked it up at the Colorado Pen Show, or at least my mother did. And I just happened to see it while she was FaceTiming. And I was like, ooh, I want one of those. I know that's a vintage Pelican. And there were so many of them that looked similar, but she randomly picked this one. I was like, yeah, let's go with that one. And I can't remember the ink. I know this is a fine, um, but it writes really nice and I can get some line variation with it. So, so that's completing my currently inked fountain pens. If you have any questions about any of them, please comment below and I will answer them there. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, and spending your time with me in this video today. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.